hi everybody if x plus y plus z is equals to 1 and x square plus y square plus z square is equals to 2 and similarly x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equals to 3 then find the value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 and also find the value of x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus z to the power 5 now some of you might already familiar with these types of quotients and you already see these types of quotients in university level maths test book but we will solve this question only by using 9th grade maths algebra and in this type of university's test book student have to answer only for the fourth power but we will also solve fifth power which is more harder than the fourth power and i think this is first time in my videos that first i will tell you the answer and after that i will show you the solution so answer to the fourth power is equals to 25 by 6 and answer to the fifth power is exactly equal to 6 and after the timer i will show you the solution so first you please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution now we have given this and if we can do this in the same progression to the power n so these type of polynomials are known as symmetric power some polynomials and i will show you the three methods for solving this in first method the identity which we are using is a plus b plus c whole square which is equals to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca and the second identity which we are using is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equals to a plus b plus c times a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca and some of the people know about this identity so in second method the identity which we are using i think everyone know about these identities which is a plus b plus c whole square again and the second identity is a plus b plus c whole cube which is this and we can also write this as in this form and in the third method the identity which we are using is again a plus b plus c whole square and a plus b plus c whole cube again but the solution to third method this method i will not show you in this video the solution to this third method is in the form of pdf and you can download this pdf through the link in the description and the third method is little bit complicated but it is really a very different approach to the answer so you can check it out from the link in the description below now i am just gonna squaring both sides of x plus y plus z and after using a plus b plus c whole square formula we get this now substitute x square plus y square plus z square by 2 which we have given so we get 2 plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx is equals to 1 so after simplification we get xy plus yz plus xz is equals to negative 1 by 2 let this be our equation first now i am just gonna using this identity which i will tell you in starting now substitute a b c by x y z so we get x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z is equals to x plus y plus z times x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x now substitute x cube plus y cube plus z cube by 3 which we have given so and x plus y plus z is 1 and x square plus y square plus z square is 2 and we already found the value of x y plus y z plus z x which is equals to negative 1 by 2 so after putting these values and after simplification we get negative 3 x y z is equals to negative 1 plus 1 by 2 so x y z is equals to 1 by 6 and let it be our equation second 
Now, isosquamous squaring both sides of our equation first and after using a plus b plus c whole square formula, we get this. Now, looking in these terms, in these terms, take 2xyz as common, so we get this. Now, we already found the value of xyz, which is equal to 1 by 6, which is our equation first. So, we get xy whole square plus yz whole square plus xz whole square is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 3. So, we get this. Now, let this be our equation third. Now, what I do is just squaring both sides of x square plus y square plus z square and after using a plus b plus c whole square formula, we get this which is x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 plus 2 times x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square which is equal to 4. And now using our third equation and after putting the value and after simplification, we get x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 is exactly equal to 25 by 6. And that is our correct answer to the fourth power. Now for x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus z to the power 5, multiply x square plus y square plus z square by x cube plus y cube plus z cube. So after multiplying them and after opening the parentheses, we get this all stuff which is equal to 6. So 6 is equal to this all stuff on RHS side. Now in this RHS side, that make the pairs of these terms. So after making pair from first pair, let x square and y square as com as common, and from second pair, x square and z square take this as common, and from third pair, take z square and y square as common, and using x plus y plus z, which is equal to one. So substitute y plus x from one minus z and substitute x plus z from 1 minus y and substitute z plus y from 1 minus x. And again after opening up parentheses, again make the pair of these terms. So we get 6 is equals to x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus z to the power 5 plus x square y square plus z square x square plus z square y square minus x y z times x y plus y z plus z x. Now, for this equation, we have our equation sec third and our equation second and our equation first. So after putting the values, we get 6 is equal to x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus z to the power 5 minus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12. So after cancelling this, we get x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus z to the power 5 is exactly equal to 6. And that's our correct answer to the fifth power. Now we move on to our second method. And in second method, I will promise you we are using only two identities, which are a plus b plus c whole square identity. And second identity is a plus b plus c whole cube. So if we solve this equation only by using these two identities, so we get our final answer. Now, in first method, we found the value of xy plus yz plus zx is which is equal to negative 1 by 2 by using the identity a plus b plus c whole square identity, which we have also given in our second method. So we can found the value of xy plus yz plus zx only by using a plus b plus c whole square identity. So and by using this identity, we found the value of xyz, which is equal to 1 by 6. And after by using a plus b plus c whole square identity, we found the value of x y square plus y z square plus z square, which is equal to negative 1 by 2. So once if we found the value of x y z without using this identity, so we can solve our final answer. So now using a plus b plus c whole cube identity, which is this. Now substituting a, b, c by x, y, z, so we get this. Now x to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 plus z to the power 3 is our 3 which we have given and substitute 
y plus z by 1 minus x and x plus z by 1 minus y and x plus by y 1 minus z so we get this now after some substitution we get this so making the pair of these terms so we get negative 2 is equal to 3 times x square plus y square plus z square minus 3 times x cube plus y cube plus z cube plus 6xyz now after putting the values we get this which is equals to negative 2 is minus 6 plus 9 is equals to 6xyz so xyz is equals to 1 by 6 now we found a value of xyz only by using a plus b plus c whole cube identity which i will promise you now the remaining solution is same as the thing that we do in our method one First, we found a value of xy square plus yz square plus xz square, which is equal to negative 1 by 12. And then by using this, we found a value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4, which is equal to 25 by 6. And then for fifth power, we multiply second power and third power. And after substitution, we get this equation. And after putting the values, we get 6 is exactly equal to 5 x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus z to the power 5. Look at this. We will solve this question only by using 9th grade algebra that I will promise you. And I think every 9th grade student which is looking for a hard question in algebra of their level. So I suggest this question is for you because sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. Ready? Yeah, sometimes we have to go to run before walk. And you can also send me questions on email. My email ID is yourmathsguy1910 at the rate gmail.com.